The Honorable Member for Levy Lobinière. Mr. Speaker, in the ongoing saga of the Prime Minister's illegal vacation on a trip that pretty much any Canadian wouldn't be able to afford, there are dark grey areas concerning the Prime Minister's discretionary power to circumvent the law. Mr. Speaker, did the Prime Minister handcuff the RCMP to protect himself from the facts and from a new scandal? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, it's clear that the party across the way is running out of material because they're raising the same questions that were raised by the Conservative leader three Conservative leaders ago. The Conservatives want to continue to create distractions instead of talking about the things that are important to Canadians, like the economy and the environment. This is what's clear. They don't want to talk about the need to ensure that our economic recovery doesn't leave anyone behind. They don't want to talk about the climate crisis. They don't even want to recognize that it exists. And they don't want to talk about how we've made our communities safer by banning assault weapons. Mr. Speaker, we're going to continue to work for Canadians. Honourable Member for St. Albert Edmonton. Mr. Speaker, page 56 of the RCMP's criminal brief into the Prime Minister said that the Prime Minister's actions were, quote, more damaging to the Government of Canada's appearance of integrity wow. than would similar actions carried out by a lower-ranking government official, closed quote. Canadians expect the highest standard of integrity from the Prime Minister. Yeah. Why does this Prime Minister believe that he is above that standard? Yeah. Yeah.